Yo, my name is Joe Creator, and today we're going to be listening to Polyphere's new single. So Polyphere are a band of absolutely nutty instrumentalists. This is their new song, Playing God. We're going to do a blind listen to it. I've listened to their whole of their last album and all their singles before. Let's see what new stuff that they're coming up with. semi-acoustic. What are those guitar bodies? clean. Dude, Tim's mullet. Where we going? Ooh. Ooh. That is cheeky. whistling in the background. <laughs> Man, that was something else. These guys are just crazy. They really have a style that like brings something new to the table every time. Even if you don't objectively like that, you've got to appreciate what they're doing. The only thing that I think that this is missing than perhaps some of their most popular songs have is I don't feel like this has that like really catchy hook to it. It's all very quick. It's all very technical, which is obviously what they're good at, but they're really popular songs that skyrocket have more of a catchy hook to them. Even if it's fast, they have this like really memorable lick, which here on a first listen through, I don't really find, I don't really latch onto something straight away. They always really have this like interesting mix where they really hard pan the two guitars when they're playing together. It makes this really like disorientating confusion almost when you're listening to it but it's so structured and so technical it keeps it all together everyone talks about the two guitarists here you got you got tim henson and you got scott lepage but i think that the whole band is so technically sound to be able to follow through with this kind of music i i, I can't remember the bassist name but sometimes he can get some compl complicated stuff in 
but I think with such technical riffing on the guitars, then you really need to keep the bass holding everything together because you never even really have simple percussion to hold things together here. The drummer is an absolute nutter as well. He just goes for it. I'm interested to see when they release their next album, whether it's all gonna be like this or whether they really have a variety of things that they're doing. The tones they get out of these guitars is so wacky to me, really, because it's really pushing this resurgence in clean guitar tones. I think that this style of playing, like turning a lot of the distortion off and just playing like some sort of dirty speed demon, getting these much cleaner tones. Um, and that combined with, I think a lot of finger style guitar is really coming back as well and becoming very popular again. But moving away from that classical style and using a lot of these techniques that sort of coined and hammered into metal music for so long, uh, stripping it back and using guitars like these is, um, to be honest, I think it's just pushing, pushing genres forwards. Anyway, that's it. Is this your first time listening to this song? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Personally, for me, I really appreciate and, and understand their technical skill on this one. I think that this is catered to that certain audience that love to see that technical skill, but this song in particular doesn't have that relatable hook where people can easily follow and, and, and join in and relate to. Also, I'm always looking for new artists, new styles, different genres to review and show on my channel. So if you have any ideas, put them down below in the comments as well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.